Right, class, uh, we're beginning the fall semester, and I'm going to do a course review of the course you've signed up for. You're taking two classes, Math uh, 308, which is a developmental component, and Math 1332, which is our uh, liberal arts quantitative reasoning. And my name is Alma Waslinski. Um, I'll be your instructor and uh, it's all online class. So let's get started. First off, you'll have to go to our web page, sign in as I am a current student, and then uh, look for the Brightspace button under. Uh, there is a quicker way of getting a hotspot for it, and uh, you all are more tech savvy than I am. Well, once you get to that, you'll look on your listing of uh, classes that you're taking this fall. And what you've signed up for is Math 0308-1332-L081, Fall of 24, which is an inclusive access course. That means you buy nothing except your writing instruments, calculator, etc. So what you're going to be doing is clicking on this to activate it and uh, checking out what, uh, what we have here. Both 308 and 1332 are found in this icon. You'll have the other listing, but there's nothing there. Everything is on one uh, axis. Then you're going to view all the other offerings uh, that happens with uh, doing the course. Well, I've changed some things this year. I hope for the better. On the blue ribbon above, once you click on my course, you'll find announcements, content, homework and exams, which means the My Math Lab, grade, student grade book, which gives you uh, a synopsis of the grade, and then uh, attendance, so that it's more concise and it's not constantly looking for what you need. The content, of course, is uh, important, as we'll see further. But let's talk about the three that I have uh, listed for you. <clears throat> when you click on the homework, you will see the homework listings and be able to work immediately on the course. If you click on Student Gradebook, it'll analyze what you've done. Now, uh, the discovery the discussion board and projects I do manually on this gradebook. So uh, wait for a while on those. Uh, they won't be listed until I've looked to see that you've complied with everything. Your attendance is taken on Sundays, uh, finishes on Sunday, and is recorded on Monday because it's a week online class. So now let's look at content. On content, you'll see it's different as well. Again, we're trying to make everything a one-stop. I'm not there yet because the homework still has uh, a button that you click. But everything else is here. The videos for the week's assignments, the, in this case, the discussion board, which you have to click on to do, completed notes. Eventually, I will have our homework keys on this section, but at the moment you'll have to go up to the homework and exam tab on the blue ribbon to access it. Get to the nitty gritty. The nitty -gritty you'll need um, a calculator, TI-84, because that's what I utilize for the apps key this, uh, done in finance as we start. But you can get this on your cell phone. Go to the apps key, type in TI-84, and then choose one and see if it works. And then you'll have to probably pay under $6 for the use of the emulator, uh, but it sure beats $150. You'll need a computer, and the computer can be a laptop, a MacBook, all kinds of things. But if you do have a MacBook, it is extra picky. So make sure you don't use Safari. You have to download Firefox or Chrome 
for this program to work. And I'm going to tell you why. My program uses a lot of pop-up windows. Uh, Apple sees it as an invasion. So if you use Safari, it'll, it'll lock it. It'll, it won't record what you do uh, because it will let you do some of it. Uh, it won't record it, and you'll be frustrated when you get zeros on the homework. So please be, make sure that if you're an Apple user, you utilize Safari, not Safari, but Firefox or Chrome. You'll definitely need a, a spiral or a composition book to keep all of your homework in. All of the exams are directly from the homework, and the reviews list the problems that you should focus on as to what my key objectives are for that exam. You need time. This is an online class, but it does not mean you can do it anytime you want. The uh, course is timed on what should be done weekly and what should be completed for that week to have uh, full credit for everything. So it's vital that you keep up. Okay, this is an online class, so you must print out the calendar. The calendar will help you uh, do what needs to be done on a timely basis. You should have two minimums at least for the completed notes, the videos, or the publisher's videos, and time to finish the assignments. If you do everything on one day, because uh, that's what you have because of your situation, you are bound to get behind and you're bound to hate this class. It is not difficult, but it does take time to absorb how to use the calculator. This is crucial in any college level class, any. You must communicate, communicate, communicate with me, okay, about situations that have caused you to get behind, situations that have happened in your life, or other needs that make you feel you're unable to continue. We have many things available for you, but if you don't contact me, then I'm going to count you absent, and if you meet the criteria, drop you from the class when other things can happen. If you don't communicate, either by email, by Zoom, by uh, text, because I even uh, give you my cell phone, then it's your uh, problem. So let's see what the course looks like. So here we are. This is my Firefox, because that's my favorite. And I have a hotkey for Brightspace. And I'm going to put in that password and click. Now, these are all the courses I am teaching presently. Uh, and we're looking for yours. Well, here's yours. So let's click on that. I'm going to change it to student because this is what you'll see. You'll see this. You'll see a beautiful picture of me on the right. I don't look that way. I'm older and my daughter's a photographer. So, but I look close to that. And you notice I have an announcement. On the announcement, I give you details of the week as well. And it gives you uh, the to-do list that you can see on the bottom. Every week you'll get this, and it'll run for the entire week, and it'll tell you some clues for success. So that's important. It also on the right tells you my Zoom hours. Don't look at those just yet because I have to adjust them. Uh, those are from my summer. So we wanted to look at the content. Notice that I have all the weekly things listed. You will only see week one and week two because the first two weeks are, are kind of congelled, giving you more time uh, to work. Now, I have highlighted the syllabus and calendar uh, because that's what's important here. You want to print my, uh, I mean, you want to print this uh, calendar because not only is it everything that you do, and in order to print, you must download first down here and then hit the print, and you won't have issues. Uh, but at the end, it gives you a synopsis of what the grading is, how to contact me, 
and even my office hour, because I'm on campus this year. And so besides Zoom, and the Zoom, you just click on, at the time that you need uh, on, the, on my uh, information card on, online. So this gives you an idea of what you're graded on and how it all works. Very important. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's look at week one, even though everything is, is on there uh, at the moment, because I'm still working. All right, so week one will tell you what we're going to be doing. Finance, the objectives are learners will be able to convert percents to decimals and fractions. Learners will be able to construct equations, uh, utilize equations, I should say, uh, future value or interest accrued from sim uh, that, uh, uh, that process. Then it says assignments for week one, click on the link on the blue ribbon. Again, I don't have the homework listed on this yet, but it'll work. I do have, like I said earlier, I have my videos for 8.1, my discussion board, and I'm going to click on it so that you can see it. And here's my discussion board. And you'll read what I want you to ex explain to others about. Nothing very, very important, just general. And, uh, and I need you to, um, and I, oh, I have to correct that, uh, and make clear uh, to state two nuggets of information you saw from the uh, orientation video that I'm taping right now. All right, so that tells you about that. Okay, so that is a rundown, generally, of what you have, but understand the homework and exams are the listing out uh, uh, as uh, I get to the weekend, but I wanted to make sure the video was here. There'll be uh, due dates on these, and then you do them as you want. So if uh, I click here, you'll see that we have 14 questions, and uh, the questions have help also. So this one says a decimal 2%. So if I don't, uh, I don't know how and I didn't get all the information, I can view an example and it will show you. And then, or I can get more help or help me solve this is another one, uh, which gives you a question answer. Say, okay, so, and you work it. Sorry about that. Uh, or you can even send me an email. You can ask my instructor. All right. And you can see the videos are all there too. So all of these questions have assistance. So if we want this, because we're using a formula, you can again view the example, help me solve it, and, and do so. The first two uh, sections are easy. Uh, after that, we use uh, the calculator. Okay, so now we have that. Leave the page. Uh, so now that we've done that, uh, I leave you with this. <laughs> it's one of my favorite pictures of Einstein. Uh, wisdom is not a product of schooling, but the lifelong attempt to acquire it. So what it means is that we're always learning. Always be aware of what you glean from either uh, learning material in this course or asking questions of people in the business that you are seeking to become. I want to thank you for choosing my class. I'm excited about uh, answering questions and relating to you. Understand that uh, all emails must be through MCC. I do not answer any Gmail or business uh, emails. It is to protect you and me from what I've said to you. Uh, if you have any issues, contact me first. Uh, it's okay to contact my boss, uh, and that's Dr. Shannon Hill, uh, but it just stops whatever I'm doing 
uh, to answer her than to answer you, which I would have done directly. Remember, you have the ability to text me, and that phone is always with me, so that is a plus. Uh, I want you to succeed. My job is to have a good passing rate, and so it is vital that you know that I'm here rooting for you. Thank you so much for choosing my class. I'll see you in cyber class.